I definitely think the job form just hit it out of the ballpark. They've implemented AI agents into job form. Now, if you ask me, I think that this feature is going to be even more popular than their form builder. Hey, but that's just my opinion. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is job form and we want to access the AI agent to accomplish this. We can have an AI agent that's super smart that can be implemented with our own database, our own files, our own links to make it super smart and give support response or sell for us super easily. All right. Now, before I show you how it works, let's go into the my agent section. So this is the main panel. We're going to click on my forms and we're going to go to my agents. Currently is in beta stage as of this video. So definitely jump over there and sign up to get access to this feature. Okay. So this is the agent that I've just created, which is the Brewster Coffee Consultant. Let me go ahead and edit this. And before I show you how to create one, let me show you how it works on the back end because this is where the juicy part is. Okay. So first off, we have the designer where we have our avatars and you can see that the avatars are actually for coffee baristas. For example, we can also upload our own photo and it'll generate an image based on our look. So all that implemented into here, right? You can generate based on details here. In this case, it already built one based on barista, dressed, dressed as a barista and holding a cup. All that was generated here, right? And then we have the style option for the color schemes, the agent background. And this is just like the icing on the cake. I mean, this is not the big deal. The magic for AI agents is here. The training options that they provide. Now, the first thing I would recommend that you set up is the AI persona, right? So the agent name, the agent role. In this case, coffee consultant is going to be the role of this person. Depending on the business or the purpose of your AI agent, give it that role, right? Then we have the chattiness. Or is, is it going to respond minimalist, short, long, or chatty? The default language. This is super important, especially if you're building in a different language. Select the language there. Tone of voice and the conversational style. You can tweak all of this right here. Even give it more instructions. So definitely start off there. Then we have the knowledge base. This is the actual power of the agent here on John form. So we can provide it links, files. We can type in the knowledge base. We can give it questions and response all available here. So you can see here that I've added some links. Here we go. Links with details. I've also added some files, some PDFs here with details of, for example, coffee grinders in this case. And another beauty about my agents is that if they ask something that this AI agent doesn't have knowledge about, it'll let us know and we can edit this here and we can respond to this answer. So when someone asks this question, it will actually know how to respond. Now to add knowledge to this knowledge base, we'll click on add new knowledge and we have these available options. So first off, you have the knowledge. We can type in the details here, give it information and it'll grab that knowledge and convert it into the AI to get robust, right? Then we have the link. We can go ahead and find links, for example, how to make coffee, how to make a drip coffee, uh, espressos, etc., cetera, uh, grinders, coffee makers, etc., and give all those details. So it jumps to the website, reads the information and capture it for us to give it a response when the AI agent responds to something, all right? And we have also files. You can upload PDFs, details that have text, etc., in file format. And then we have questions and answers. So. If you know that someone is going to repeatedly ask a question because you know it's a popular question, we'll jump to it. Don't wait for them to ask that question and have, not have a response. Ask the question here, have the response. And if someone asks that question, it will have it available to respond. All right. This is the most important part about the AI agent, the knowledge base. Okay. Then we have actions. This is also amazing. I mean, I've reviewed several AI agents out there and I've never seen this before. It's conditional logic for agents. It's crazy. Let me show you how it works. So if I add a new action here, it's going to give us the when and do. So conditional logic. If this happens, do that. And the amount of options that it provides is crazy. So when, for example, a conversation starts, do something. If a user wants to, then do something. If a user talks about, so if it's talking about, uh, in this case, coffee grinders, then I wanted to do something. If a user asks about, et cetera, right? user sentiment, this is my favorite one. For example, I created one where if the sentiment is that the person is angry, then I wanted to respond in a different situation. I wanted to be kind and I want them to offer them a free gift. Why? Because the AI took care of it and it knows that someone is mad and they're going to respond in a different way. Okay. The user provides, the, the sentence contains, the date is, the page URL contains, and then we have all these actions to work with. It's crazy. 
So if something happens here from wherever you decided, if it's sentiment, if they typed up on something, if they talked about something, etc., you can make them fill a form. You can show a button. So if they start talking about coffee grinders, well, we can give them a little button that says shop and it'll take them to the shopping section of that coffee grinder. Or if they're talking about the privacy policy, well, we'll give them that little button to take them to the privacy button, privacy section, right? Say exact message. So whatever you type in is that what is that it's what it's going to type. Always include, always talk about, talk about or mention, don't talk about or mention, ask for information. So if they're talking about coffee grinders, maybe we'll want to ask how big is the coffee shop or how many people do you serve a day? Or it's just information that is going to receive to give it a response, right? Send an email, send API requests. That's crazy. Find a web, find in a website. So it'll find details in a website, trigger workflow with form, show video, list of items, make an appointment, all that with actions. And, and I'm not kidding here when I'm, when I'm shocked that they provide all of this in this feature. Okay. So that's for action. And it's just a great use case that you can start using right now with all these actions that you can provide, make it super smart. And then we have the tools and in tools, you can enable this, for example, set appointments in Google calendar, set appointments, send an email, trigger workflow, send the message via Slack, show a video, find the website, show a list of items, send the API requests. And you have all these available tools that you can start using right now on your AI agent. Then we have forms. You can tie a form from your job form into this AI agent. That means that it's going to prompt you at a certain stage to fill out this form, fill out the survey. And you can tie this form just by clicking add a new form. We can go ahead and select the coffee survey that I've just created. I'll go ahead and add it. And now it's going to prompt you in the chat to fill out that survey and via chat, it'll provide you the question and then you can respond to it one by one in a chat based system. Plus you have all the features with the knowledge base and the actions and all that available here aside from this. Okay. Then you have your teach your agent. So by just chatting with the agent, you can make it smarter. So you can chat with it and you can decide if you want to make it smarter It may not have a response for it. You and those will be a popped up here in knowledge base to let you know that you need to respond to that. So if someone asks it, it'll respond to it, right? Now, once you're good to go, you built your AI agent and you're good to go. We're going to go into publish and there's several options to publish your AI agent. First one is by sharing a link. It'll open up a page with the AI agent in the full screen and you're good to go. You can send it via email, share agent via a QR code, WhatsApp, etc. all those there. We can also embed this on a website and there's several options available. You got the page embed. And if you want to preview this, just click on preview and see how it's going to view. Okay. So maybe that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. I want to use chatbot. Then I want to customize it. So I, I can change the greeting, the pulsing, the open by default, etc. change the position to the left and all that stuff, grab the code and embed it on the website. If I want to do it on WordPress, a light box, a pop-up and all those options are available to embed. There's the phone agent feature that this one will cost you an additional $10 a month, but it's a feature that could be really interesting because there's also voice agents with this, right? And you can get a number here for 10 bucks a month. There's also the voice agent here that you can actually talk to the Brewster. So if I click on it, it'll actually talk and it'll listen. Hello, to me. I'm Brewster, your friendly AI coffee consultant. How can I help you? It'll respond to me. And if I ask it something via voice, it'll respond. And it's just a voice conversation. Cool feature, right? You can also embed this in different styles. You can change the voice in the voice settings and all those options available there. There's the SMS agent here. Again, that's tied to the phone number that's with the phone agent and the SMS agent. You can get the number right here. And again, the SMS trigger the AI agent. There's the option for WhatsApp. You can connect your WhatsApp number to this AI agent and it's a fantastic option. So you don't actually need to jump into a link. You don't need to go to add this to a website. You can use it via WhatsApp with this, right? And then there's the app agent. So you can create an app with the agent here and this is how it's going to look. So it gives you a preview to actually start using it in app mode. And again, you have the copy link and all the details for the agent app right there. So it's a fantastic option to use. Now you saw how powerful this is, and this is just covering the basics of what the AI agents can do. And this is just in beta stage. So it's crazy that they've implemented all this. Now, how easy is it to create one of these AI agents? Well, let me show you. So if I go back to my agent section, I'll go to create an agent 
and you have several options. You can start from scratch. You can start with a form. You can use a template or you can clone yourself. Yes, that'll put an image of you and it'll clone it. So let's just say that I want to start from scratch. Well, I'm going to describe what my agent is going to do. So I'll just use something like this really quickly here, but you give it the details that you need. Let's create the agent. Here we go. It's now been created and we are now going to give it the details. So you can see here now that we have professional looking avatars that we can start using. We can also generate with a different prompt right here and we can change the style and everything that you just saw. That's how easy it is to use this. So right now there's nothing in the knowledge base. It's a brand new AI agent. Everything starts from scratch, but it's just amazing. Everything that you can do with this. I would highly recommend that you jump down here into the link and ask for requests to get access to agents. So you can start building it right now. It, I'm surprised everything you can do right now in beta stage. So definitely check it out. And that's a wrap.